hot deals keep coming in here to the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And today we found a 2023 Integra Cornerstone with only 4,500 miles that just became available for $477,777. And that's gotta be a record for the least expensive Integra Cornerstone with only 4,500 miles. I think these are pushing on 900,000 brand new. This is on the Spartan K3 chassis. It's got the Cummins X15 with 605 horsepower. And I really like this exterior paint scheme that Integra is doing with the black, blue, white, silver. You've got lots of fades going on, lots of cool stuff. You can see it's more of a light silver right here. And then it's gonna slowly fade to a more darker gray. And then beautiful chrome strips down the side of the coach. This does have the push buttons to open the basement doors. You're gonna notice cameras around the coach. We'll show you the cockpit in a moment. It's like a spaceship up front in this coach, but I also like to point out that drop shadow that really gives that paint scheme depth when you see it from different distances. This coach does have a 20,000 pound towing capacity, 150 gallon diesel fuel tank, and I love that styling on the rear end of this coach. A very cool paint scheme with those, I believe they call these C channel lights and you'll notice these blind spot monitors as we walk around the coach. And then we've got the dual side fill for the 150 gallon diesel fuel tank, code entry for your door, 365 steer tires. I like the Integra coach badging. And before we take a look inside, we'll open up the bays real quick. And this coach just came in, so it's not been detailed, has not been gone through, but I just wanna give you guys a quick look. So this is telling a story, the original owner of this coach spent some serious money on these covers and I like the lighter color gray covers and it's already got these buttons here so you can snap these on the windows and this is pretty expensive to have these made so every time I see something like this it's telling a story of an owner that's spending money they really care for their coach and I don't know if this is the best spot to store these uh, covers but you do have the Dometic uh, pull-out cooler on a manual slide tray that there and uh, the motor coach store detail department is gonna get all of this organized and cleaned up. And we do have the awning controls for the big Girard awnings. It is a little tight here. This coach is in the detail department here at the motor coach store. So we're not gonna put those out, but you do have the large patio awnings as well as window awnings. And here's a look at the entertainment bay, Samsung TV outlets, JBL stereo. And then this door will keep the glare off that TV in a really cool paint scheme. You see a slight fade from that gray to more of a silver with a cool pattern. And bay two is gonna be a full pass through bay with a power slide tray. There are outlets in this bay as well. And you can see this coach with only 4,500 miles is in very good condition. It's not been cleaned at all, but I don't see any staining. And I'm seeing some extra filters there again, that's telling in a story of an owner that's thinking ahead, they're prepared. And then here we have a full pass through bay again with a power slide tray, convenient location for that slide tray switch. And then we have a little more storage here. Uh, this is where the central vac is gonna be housed. And then there's an on off switch for your inverter. This bay is gonna house the fresh water tanks. You've got a gravity fill for your fresh water holding tank. This does have a 100 gallon fresh water tank, 62 gray and 41 black. You've got access to your DEF fill on this side of the coach. And then in our last bay, we're gonna have the chassis batteries, air dryer filter and fuel water separator. And then there's a switch right here to open the engine door. And then there's a look at that X15. There's a 20,000 pound receiver and pretty easy access to your belts. It's not quite as easy as like a Newell or a uh, Prevo, but definitely much easier than a rear radiator coach. Coming around, you can see the side radiator here. And then I'm noticing, you know, more stuff, the more times I walk around this coach, these little buttons uh, for the tire covers, those same covers that go over the windows are set up to go over the tires, helping protect these Michelin tires. 
keeping them out of the sun. And that's an expensive option when you have that done all the way around the coach. The original owner was definitely making investments in this coach. And we've got the 21st week of 2022 date codes on the Michelin tires. So still very fresh Michelin tires. And going into the bays here, this is gonna be the plumbing bay. You do have an extra storage spot for your sewer hose. And this has not been cleaned yet, but we have a power city water hose reel. And then you can also just connect your city water here. For some reason, your hose reel isn't working. Fresh water fill on this side as well. We can monitor the tank levels. We've got a outside hose if you wanna wash off the dog or maybe spray some stuff down. Got a light here in your plumbing bay. Does have a macerator system simple dump valves and a water filter. All right, so here we've got our 50 amp cord reel, the Aquahot 450D, a surge guard power protection system. Again, this is actually from, this will probably get stripped out because this is the one that goes on the post. This is the stuff that really tells the story of an owner that's really looking out for their coach. This is gonna have a built-in surge guard power protection system, but the original owner of this coach, usually when they're trying to protect the tires, they're also trying to go overboard to protect the electrical systems, and that really tells a story. Now, this probably won't come with the coach. Usually, they're gonna take any aftermarket stuff out. And then here's the other side of that full pass-through bay. This power slide tray will come out both both ways, as carpets are all in excellent condition. And then the next full pass-through bay, the slide tray will come out this way, and then there's those extra filters. All of this stuff is telling a story of that original owner. Being a brand new coach, you don't know if a coach went into a rental fleet or something, but here we go, more clues of an owner with all the detail supplies. But this is when you really know they're obsessive about detailing. Check this out, guys. A little mother's aluminum polish, keeping the wheels polished up. I mean, all of this right here. This is why I like to get you guys a look at these coaches before the detail department has gone through, because they're gonna strip all of this stuff out. They may even use some of these products here. Saving Brad a little overhead on his uh, detail department. We've got the 150 gallon diesel fuel on both sides. This front bay is gonna have a small light. And then if we turn the engine on, there's a button to bring out that Cummins Onan diesel generator. And coming around at the front of the coach, beautiful styling with that backlit Integra badging. These, I believe they call them the C channel lights. These will light up at night, giving it a really cool look. And then you're gonna notice another camera up here. I believe this is some type of collision uh, avoidance system, but I'm looking forward to seeing the interior of this coach. So we're gonna put the slide rooms out right now and take a look inside. All right, guys, so we just sat down in this coach and I, we wanna get these front shades down. I just popped on this panel right here. So this is awesome. One of the nicest screens I've seen in the RV industry. Right here, we can control our lighting, turn the generator on and off, lock and unlock your cargo and entry door, climate control. Now there's your Integra information. We can adjust the mirrors, pedals, and steering wheel, our shade controls, and then the simple audio as well as leveling. And I can just press one button to close all of these blinds just to cut down on some of this backlighting. But I do want to point out we've got this huge digital dash here and the way that these shades fold down right here, check this out, it comes right over that screen. So now it's giving you almost a more of a sealed off kind of a feel. And I can, if I just want to lower just one of those blinds a little bit, I can you know, select each individual blind. This is one of the most user-friendly panels and just the touch screen. I've been in a lot of different RVs, but I'm very impressed with just the ergonomics of this cockpit area. We've got wireless charging over here. My phone sits flush in here and I'm actually surprised it started charging I've got this Otter box on here, so usually it won't charge on a wireless charging point, but for some reason my 
my phone started charging when I put it on there. So it must be a really good wireless charging system. And again, it has not been detailed, but I really like the styling around the dash here. We've got a cup holder, a gear selector for the Allison transmission, a tag dump, a battery boost, another button to start and stop the generator. We also have a manual button to turn the dome lights on and off here. We've got uh, massaging seats, different zones. You can do the pulse, the wave, the zigzag. Uh, definitely a nice feature to have when you're putting down some miles uh, in a coach like this. And then we also do have heated and cooled seats as well. And then I want to uh, spin this chair around. So I'm gonna tilt this steering wheel. Easy uh, button here on the screen. And then there's a little uh, lever that I, I flip over right there. And boom, now your captain's chairs are part of your living room. And check out this beautiful coach, ladies and gentlemen. I love the light floors, not too dark of cabinets, a more medium tone cabinets. And then this will extend out. And this is a very cool floor plan with the Samsung TV Bose sound bar, fireplace, and then a nice wine cooler next to your TV. And this could be maybe used as a coffee station. We do have some outlets here, or this could be used as like a work area actually uh, above your wine cooler there. This could be a keyboard tray. You've got outlets you could maybe set up a, a workstation there. And then when this extends out, we've got a lot of countertop space, a Whirlpool microwave, Fisher Paykel dishwasher, nice deep drawer below the Furion induction cooktop. And then this has got a, a wood block cover stored up here to cover that induction cooktop, just so if something falls on it, just protecting that. And I really like the look of this. It matches the cabinet, just really ties everything together nice breaking up those colors and then i think this might go in the microwave but we're gonna keep this stored up in this nice nook up here and i really like the brass hardware a little spot for a paper towel roll nice little touch that i haven't seen before and then some more storage with a pull-out drawer. Every cabinet I'm opening up, everything is really clean. I think we saw a lot of clues of an owner that liked to take care of their stuff outside, but I can tell they treated the interior of this coach the same way. There's a little spice rack or a little storage there. And then a pull-out tray for your trash receptacle. Then coming back up to the front of the coach, I really like the feel with both of the captain's chairs spun around. It's a very nice living area. And then we've got the theater seating over here. Very large, very comfortable recliners with the two cup holders. Nice deep storage below your armrest. And these are very wide armrests. And then you have USB ports here if you wanna bring a cell phone charger. And then we have some storage overhead, all very clean lined with carpet. And I really like what they did with the ceiling design in this coach. It's a very modern, contemporary feel. And this does have a booth, nice indirect lighting there with the multi-level extra tabletop space here. And this is nice, the way they give you a back on this side. So if you wanna kinda of kick back, turn around, nice to be able to do that. And then if you have some more guests and you wanna extend your dinette, it will extend out. And there's a locking mechanism to keep that in place there. Now, coming into the middle of the coach, this is a bath and a half coach. We've got the LG refrigerator with the pull-out freezer. And then guys, I wanna show you something here. When I saw this, I just really, I'm not impressed with this. I don't think this is from the factory. You've got like two by fours in here, but I'll tell you what, this tells a story here. I think these might be the original braces that hold the tray up, but I'm thinking this previous owner may have kind of re-engineered more robust structure. Now that's definitely telling a story. Now we're talking about someone that starts rebuilding the coach to make it better. Uh, now they will go through an in-depth PDI process here at the motor coach store where they're gonna make sure everything is functioning. Uh, when you take delivery of this coach, a trained technician will go over all of the systems with you. You can camp the night or several nights to make sure you understand everything. It is a very complex machine. So a lot of value in being able to spend some time with the coach here at the motor coach store and make sure you're comfortable when you take this out on the open road. This panel here uh, right outside of our half bathroom, we can control a lot of the stuff we saw 
on the screen up front, a lighting generator, all of that stuff. And then here's a pretty good size half bathroom. Not a lot of extra room in here, but I like that they brought these nice tiles into the half bathroom. A little bit of storage overhead for some toilet paper and a little bit of medicine cabinet space. This side is gonna be the breaker panels and a little bit of storage below the sink as well. And then coming into the rear suite here, we can close it off. These doors have a nice inlay in them. I see a little scratch on this door just to be fully transparent. They will probably try to touch all of that stuff up in their detail department, but Sometimes there is little wear and tear stuff that we may notice. A king size bed. You have a little bit of countertop space on both sides of the bed. Some nice big storage above with outlets up top, but I'm not seeing a spot to run a CPAP cord through. I think they can do that pretty easily aftermarket. You do have the outlets up there. And then this ceiling fan is tucked up towards the ceiling, very flush. I'm not hitting my head on it. We have a Samsung TV with adjustable shelving on both sides. The previous owner is just leaving money laying around here. I'm surprised we found that money left behind. I think this previous owner definitely turned over every stone. Here's some more drawer space here. And then we still have a huge rear bathroom. And then there's a walk-in closet as well. A nice shower with the teak seat. Got the double sinks. And this is cool, the way that they hinge these doors so that it, when you're getting ready, see both sides of your head makes getting ready, doing your hair a little bit easier. And then we have a small step up into this huge rear closet where it's all lined with cedar with that downlit hanging bar. We have a washer dryer combo and look at this. They left some microfiber towels. I, I told you guys, this previous owner definitely took care of their stuff. And then we have some really nice cabinets with adjustable shelving in the rear closet, nice deep drawer space. And there are vents so that that air conditioning is flowing into the rear closet here. This coach just rolled into the motor coach store, but is a smoking deal for $477,777. If you are a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are following. We hope you're all having a great day.